I think there's something about uh, the world of this story which is um, exciting for a director like me because it's uh, fantastical and uh, sort of visually extravagant. The characters are very extreme and it's a sort of wonderful colour palette, extreme colour palette. Um, but that's not just sort of empty treats for the audience. It's all actually um, uh, built around uh, a story which has got a lot to say about uh, life and primarily, of course, in this case, sort of about big things like bullying and, and putting the wrongs of the world to right. And enormous, quite simplistic things. But uh, the emotions in Matilda are very sort of authentic and run deep. And so there's, um, there's a real rich seam to mine for, for a director of performers, of actors. One of the interesting things about trying to make a musical of a Roald Dahl story is that Roald Dahl himself is never writing sort of uh, in the mainstream. He's never going down the middle of the road. He's quirkier than that. He's more offbeat. He is um, sometimes darker, sometimes more brutal. He's, more, he's got um, sharper edges. And so we didn't want to uh, betray Roald Dahl or alienate the audience. And so the three year, three or four year development process was a, a negotiation with myself, Tim Minchin, and Dennis Kelly, it was trying to feel our way through and navigate um, a kind of a, an unusual, almost want to say groundbreaking path through in that it is all the time breaking rules and uh, not doing the obvious while still um, keeping in touch with the audience and not letting them feel uh, let down in any way. It's a very interesting challenge really to work with a cast which is made up equally of adults and children um, in a story which plays, pits them against each other a lot of the time. Um, and, uh, and also in which the central child character is more adult and more grown up than any of the actual adults in the story. So this thing about childishness um, uh, versus adulthood is uh, a theme which is occurring in the story the whole time. A decision was made, or I can't even remember if it was a decision, just an instinct to not write differently for adults and children, to write in exactly the same voice in a way. Um, and in directing it, I sort of continued that. Early in rehearsals uh, in the UK, I played um, kind of schoolyard games of um, tag, but adults and children would play together. And it was fascinating in a big room to see people running around playing this game because they played it the same way. Adults don't play tag any differently from how they did when they were children or how children play it. They play it the same with the same kind of panic <laughs> and urgency and um, and so there are certain uh, things we could do that bring everybody onto the same level. I've pushed for all of these things to try and um, create a world where the conventional distinctions of adult and child are blurred. And um, I think it can be an eye-opener. Many people that come to Matilda, um, because of its wide appeal age-wise, are actually having their first theatrical experience when they come. And I think it's a, a treat. I hope it is. Tell me your